Hi Libra, I'm Sade from Blue Alley's Tarot. Um, I'm going to do your weekly love reading. We're going to take a look at what the universe wants you to know, what um, your person has to say to you, what you may want to say to your person, uh, how they're feeling about this connection in you, how you may be feeling, and the final outcome for this connection for the week. Spirit, what would you like Libra to know for this week in November? Also, can you like, share, and subscribe to the channel? Um, and comment below and let me know if this is your story. Keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. So it may not resonate. Oh, I'm sorry. The roles can be reversed. So with these Oracle cards, it could be what you may want to say to your person, what your person may want to say to you. And keep in mind that it's just a general reading, so it may not resonate with everyone. So if it doesn't resonate, please check your moon and rising. Okay, so with the first one, these are just Oracle messages from the universe. Um, this says some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. So something good is about to come to you, but try not to let um, maybe any insecurities um, or anything like that get in your way or do not let anything block your blessings. Then it says whatever you are thinking about, don't do it. Now is not the fucking time. <laughs> so that kind of goes with this. Do not let whatever, whatever good is about to come to you, whatever you're thinking about doing may end up sabotaging it. So do not do that. Then it says rebel because fuck it. So yeah, you can be a rebel with certain things, but um, keep in mind that when we do when we do certain things that can block our blessings, the universe cannot send good things to you. So be mindful of what you're doing. Be mindful of what you're putting out into the universe. So let's get some oracle messages from your person and see what they may have, see what they want to say to you. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra from that person? What messages do you have for Libra from that person? Okay, so this says understanding. I see your side of the story. So may, maybe you and your person were going through something and couldn't get on the same page. And maybe, you know, you were both blaming each other. Um, or maybe your person wasn't taking accountability for their actions, but they're actually telling you that they see your side now. Then it says forgiveness. I'm struggling to get over the past. So maybe your person might still be messing with someone from their past. Um, or vice versa. Like I said, the roles can be reversed. Then it says irreplaceable. The way you love can never be matched. So no matter whether they're messing with someone from the past um, or whatever is going on, they feel like no one compares to you. So let's pull some tarot messages and see um, exactly what's going on in this connection. Spirit, what messages? What messages do you have for Libra for this week of November? messages do you have for Libra? What does Libra need to know? Well, the Justice card, that's your card, Libra. You came out in your own reading. Okay, so you have the Justice in reverse, the Three of Wands in the upright, and the Five of Swords in reverse. So the signs that we have here are, once again, Libra. You came out in your own reading. Um, Aries and Aquarius. 
So this could be, uh, you may be dealing with another Libra. These could be your moon or rising, or this could be your person signs. So with this justice in reverse, this represents someone being caught out in deception or cheating. So if you've been cheating on your partner or lying to them, you know, you have to expect some big um, repercussions that's going to come your way. Uh, you may also find that, you know, any arguments between you and your person seems endless. Like they just feel like they they just never stop. Like you two are just constantly arguing. Um, this card can also indicate that, you know, before you go casting judgment on your person about whatever you all are going through, you need to take a look at your own role that you play in the relationship and ask yourself, you know, are you being fair with placing so much blame on your person? Because sometimes it takes two people to, to mess up a good thing. Not all the time, but it can. Um, so just look at the role that you play as well. And that kind of goes with this oracle understanding. I see your side of the story. So I do feel like you are going to start to... Um, you know, so do some self-reflection, reevaluate certain things that went on in this relationship. And I, I feel like you're going to be fair and learn to compromise and see your person's side of the story. Now, with the three of ones, this represents distance. So maybe your person lives at a distance from you. It could be the next city over or it could be the next state over, like somewhere that you pretty much can drive to. This is also confirmation. So whatever you've been manifesting, it will be a yes. And um, that goes with this Oracle card where it says some good shit is about to happen. Don't let your issues fuck it up. So if you know you always seem to just fuck things up, however that may be, do the opposite of what you're used to doing. Because the universe is really trying to um, bring some things to surface, surface for you that you've been manifesting. If you and your person um, may be in separation or the communication has been um, very minimum, this card also represents that your person will be reaching out to you. So yeah, if you're wondering, will they hit me up? The answer is yes. Now, with the Five of Swords in reverse, this card can go two different ways, guys. So please take it however it resonates. So for some of you, this card can indicate that um, you and your person may be putting an end to some conflict in your relationship. You will be learning to compromise and overcome challenges. You may be at the point where you're just ready to let bygones be bygone um, when it comes to any issues that you all have been having. And you're going to learn to communicate better with one another because I do feel like communication may be a huge issue in your relationship or connection. Now, but keep in mind that in order for this to work and for you to get into a more peaceful energy, you both have to put the work in to make it last. Um, if you return back to old patterns, you're going to sabotage this. The, I'm sorry. You're going to sabotage all of the progress that you all have made. Now, for others of you, this card can represent um, like the complete opposite of that. So it'll be like a complete breakdown in communication and not being able to overcome any challenges within this connection. So like if either of you have been unfaithful, this card indicates that you may be exposed publicly because it can also represent revenge, remorse, and regret. Um, and maybe that has to do with the forgiveness. I'm struggling to get over the past. So maybe someone is cheating. Maybe there is a third party within this connection and somebody is feeling regretful about it. Uh, so let's clarify these cards to see what else is going on. Spirit, why is the justice in reverse here for Libra? Why is the justice in reverse here for Libra? Can you clarify this card? Clarify the justice in reverse. Clarify the three of wands. Why is the three of wands here? What is the likely outcome for a Libra and their person? What is the likely outcome for a Libra and their person? Whoa, too many cards. Okay. Okay. 
So you have the Seven of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, the Four of Wands in reverse, and the Ace of Wands in the upright. Okay, so the signs that we have here are Taurus, Sagittarius, Aries, and Aries again. So for the Seven of Pentacles, this talks about investment. Uh, someone investing time or energy in you. This is someone who is big on value. If you want to know if you and this person is done and over with, the answer is no. Because your partner feels that they invested a lot into this connection. So they still want to see where it's going to go. Now, with um, when it comes to your money, it means reinvesting in yourself. Like expanding your business. Um, because it, it tells me that, you know, you have extra money to invest in yourself and your business. Now, keep in mind that I also received this for... Who was it? Virgo. So some of you may be dealing with the Virgo as well. Because um, some of this reading kind of is similar to the Virgo reading. Now with the Wheel of Fortune in reverse, um, this lets me know that at times you feel like this spark is gone out of, the, out of this connection. And you two may have reached a point of stagnancy. Um, now, this does not mean that you need to go and make an irrational decision and just end the relationship. Because, you know, as we all know, relationships has their ups and downs. This could simply just mean that you need to reassess what's going on in a relationship and figure out what works for the both of you and how to bring the fun and the spark back into this relationship. So try to remember why you two fell in love in the first place. Try to remember what it was about one another that, you know, gave you butterflies, that made you smile, that made you laugh. Try to figure out how to get back to that place. Um... This card can also represent that previous mistakes may come back and cause issues. So, if this had anything to do with a third party, make sure that person is completely cut off. If it was communication issues, make sure you are taking the necessary steps to learn how to communicate with one another. Now, with the four ones in reverse, this card represents unhappy family life, failure, instability, insecurity and that your relationship may be going through a tough or unpredictable time for some of you this card can mean that you and your person may not be seeing eye to eye or you may be having some issues with getting your family to accept your relationship so for whatever reason um i'm not sure what's causing the insecurity what's causing the instability if it's people in your ear that's you know not happy about this connection you got to keep those people out of your relationship because that could be causing problems as well. Maybe it's just too many people in your relationship, whether that's family. Because a third party does not necessarily have to mean um, cheating. A third party can be anything. A third party could be family. A third party could be friends. It's just basically you need to get everyone out of your relationship and just um, focus on one another. Now, with the final likely outcome card, you receive the Ace of Wands. This is quick things. This represents fiery passion. So if you're single, like completely single, for love, this represents a new person. Doesn't it doesn't necessarily mean that this will be the person that you spend the rest of your life with um, because this could be a very sexual card. So this is someone who is going to be definitely inter inter mm, I'm sorry, interested in having sex with you. They may not be trying to build a connection with you if you're looking for a long term because this is fire passion. And just like fire, fire can burn out very quickly. So this person may not really be uh, into taking things to the next level when, when it comes to relationships. Now, if this is not a new person that's coming towards you, this can represent a new chapter in your current connection. Um, and that new chapter could be a number of things. It could be different for each and every one of you. So it can be, it can represent engagement, getting married, moving in together or buying a house together, traveling together, or having a baby together. So please keep in mind that this card is the fertil fertility and birth card. So if you're not trying to get pregnant or if you're not trying to get someone pregnant, you may want to think about birth control um, or using condoms. If you're already pregnant, this card represents a boy child. So some of you may be having a boy. Uh, for career, this represents entrepreneurial energy. So like starting a new business or expanding the one that you already have. Uh, and I believe that came out already with the um, 
which one was it? The Seven of Pentacles, expanding your business, reinvesting in yourself. So I do feel like for most of you, you do need to focus on your career rather than love. Um, if you if you can do both, great. But as far as love, you two do definitely need to learn to better communicate with one another. Because like I said before, I feel like communication is a big issue between the two of you. Um, but I do see that this connection will get stronger. You will move to the next level, but you just have to put the work in. So let's get some more Oracle messages to close this out. Spirit, what messages do you have for Libra? What does Libra need to know? Okay, so the first one says, I know I messed everything up. Um, so, I don't know exactly. Like I said, I don't know what that means. Maybe it could be the communication. Maybe it could be a third party, whether that's family, whether that's another lover. But your person feels like they messed something up between the two of you. Then it says, you speak to me through music. So, if you two communicate a lot through music. So, say for example... um. You may just sit in the house and listen to certain songs. You may ride around listen to certain songs. Or if you two are going through something, you may send your person a song that, you know, represents how you feel. And that's how you two communicate. Because it's saying you speak to me through music. So certain songs remind them of you. Then it says, it's time for me to heal now. And Virgo also received this card. So like I said, some of you may be messing with a Virgo. Um, so your person definitely feels like they got, they have a lot of healing to do. They have a lot of things to work through. Cause like I said, um, there's a lot of insecurity, instability, and jealous going on, jealousy going on within this connection. Um, so your person realized that they need to heal. And it's so crazy because at the bottom of this deck that was sitting up, it says self-love. I am still trying to heal. So your person know that, um, they definitely need to heal. And I'm going to just pull... Some more messages, and then we'll close it out. Spirit, what other messages do you have for Libra? What other messages do Libra need to know? Libra, I will say this, though. Keep putting in the necessary work. Keep focusing on self-love. Become more self-aware because whatever you're manifesting is trying to come to light, but you got to continue to put the work in. Whatever you do, do not block your own blessings because a lot of times we have the tendencies of blocking our own blessings. Um, and that can be in a number of things like holding on to things that no longer serve you, any purpose in your life. Um, and when you hold on to things that's no longer good for you, that also can block your blessings. So it says, Chaser, I don't want to chase anymore. So one of you feel like you constantly have to chase the other. Um, as if like, you know, one of you are breadcrumbing the other and you're, you're just tired of it. Like you just want equal give and take. Then it says, Habits, I don't know if we will ever change. So your person is feeling like, you know, maybe you two are both stubborn, you're just stuck in your ways. And they're afraid that um, things may not change in this connection. So it says, unsatisfied. I wasn't happy with the way things were going. So I guess because of all of the bad arguing, um, the insecurities, one of you may be feeling like um, you may be a failure or whatever. Um, it just caused a lot of dissatisfaction within this connection. So your person is just letting you know that certain things, you know, made them feel unsatisfied. Then it says, unexpected outcome. Things didn't go the way I planned. So it feels like your person really thought that this connection was going to go differently than what it's going now. They didn't foresee like the 
the constant arguing, third parties getting involved, everybody in your ear and their ear, um, you two not being on the same page, they didn't see that coming for you two. But with this Ace of Wands, that lets me know that you two are going to work through all of that. You two will learn how to communicate. You two will learn how to compromise. It will take time. It's not going to be easy. No relationship is easy. Um, but you have to be willing to put the work in in order for this relationship to go the distance. So that's all I have for you today, Libra. Uh, I hope that this helps. Please like, share, and subscribe and comment below and let me know if this is your story. Once again, if you would like a personal reading, please click the link in the bio below. And I will talk to you next week for the weeklies.